Good morning dear children. I am your class teacher Ms. Saiba and today we are beginning with the first chapter in computer that is the parts of computer. Now most of you must be knowing the parts of the computer. Computer have different parts the input devices and the output devices. Now let's begin our chapter. Computer is an amazing machine that can do different types of works. We can play games, write letters, draw pictures, listen to music, check spellings, do calculations and etc. on a computer. It can store a lot of information. In the previous class, you might have learned the usage of computers in different fields. For example, computer is used in offices, schools, banks, hospitals, malls and there are so many places where computer is used. And in today's world, people are totally dependent on computers. Computer is one of the greatest inventions of mankind. It works at a very high speed and performs the various functions. But do you know who is known as the father of the computer? Charles Babbage. He is known as the father of computer. IBM's first PC was introduced on August 12, 1981. The PC stood for personal computer, making IBM responsible for popularizing the term PC. So the computer works on input, processing, output and storage. These are the four main for functions of a computer. A computer works on an IPO cycle. Now what is the IPO cycle? The full form of IPO is input, process, output. We give the input to the computer. It processes and give the result as output. Let us learn the IPO cycle with a small example based on our daily life. Let's take a glass of water. Now the result is the eyes. Another real life example what we can take is the pencil and the sharpener. They are the input. We will sharp the pencil with the sharpener. It's a process and the output will be the sharpened pencil. Functions of a computer. Input. The data and instructions which we enter using a keyboard or a mouse into a computer is called input. We can enter numbers, words, pictures or sounds as input. This is called data. Processing. After entering data and instructions in a computer, the CPU works on the given data to give a meaningful information. This is called processing. Output. When the data is processed in CPU to give useful information, it is known as output. Parts of a computer. A computer has four main parts which help in performing the IPO cycle. Keyboard. A keyboard is the most important part of the computer. It has a number of keys on it. We enter information and instruction into the computer using the keyboard. Monitor. A monitor looks like a TV screen. It displays all the work that we do on a computer. It also displays the result and movement of the mouse pointer on the screen. A monitor is also known as VDU, Visual Display Unit. The information that we see on a monitor is called soft copy. There are two types of monitors, CRT and LCD. CRT stands for Cathode Raised Tube Monitor. CRT monitors are bigger in size and consume more power. LCD, Liquid Crystal Display Monitor. It is a flat type of computer screen that consumes less power. CPU Central Processing Unit It is the main brain of a computer that controls all parts of the computer system. It does all the calculations and displays the results on the monitor. It also stores a lot of information. A CPU is made up of three parts. They are MU, CU and ALU. Now let us understand what are these stands for. MU Memory Unit This unit stores the information or data according to our need. The information in the memory can't be changed and taken out on a screen when needed. CU Control Unit The control unit works like a traffic policeman. It controls and manages the working of all the parts of a computer. ALU Arithmetic 
and logical unit. This unit performs all the arithmetic calculations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. It also performs logical operations like finding the greater number or smaller number etc. Mouse A mouse is a pointing device. It is connected to the CPU by a cable. A mouse usually has two buttons on it. It is used to point, select and move any object on the screen. When we move a mouse with our hand, a pointer on the screen moves in the same direction. It also helps to draw pictures. Nowadays, most often the scroll mouse is in use, which has a wheel in the center of the two buttons. Printer. A printer prints the information from a computer on a paper. The output printed on a paper is called hard copy. Speed. A computer works very fast and can do billions of jobs per second. Reliability. Computers are quite reliable. They do not make any mistakes. Storage. A computer can store a large amount of data which can be used anytime. Versatility. A computer is a multi-purpose machine that performs a variety of tasks and is used in almost all fields. Accuracy. A computer gives accurate results all the time. Most often, the errors occur from our side. Deligence. A computer can work for long hours without getting tired. Multitasking. A computer can do many tasks at the same time.